Oh, look at Mother Love coming in that. You just turbo time. Thank you for being afraid. Obviously pre-recorded content. That's right. Let's go. Let's throw some hypes in the chat for Molo. Even give her a little frozen action. Punctual Steve. Yes, that's what all of my friends call me. Punctual. I'm always on time. Never late for raids. Never late for anything in real life. Yes, that is me. How did you ever know? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this switch over. Punchable. Probably punchable. Hey, look at seven sweeping in there. batter to the tea box please we need to start the first quarter <laughs> thank you for being friends. thank you so much seven thank you so much mother love hope you all are well i know you two are probably not dealing with snow right now in the the states that you all live in let's see if i show up i do not show up because i forgot that thing buddy <laughs> Boy, I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm not even drinking. Pick your states wisely. I, that's what the and doctor told me. He said I screwed up. John Cena coming through there. Makatayuki, thank you so much. 500 bits. It's been a long time since I've heard that before. Uh, I think it's 12 degrees outside right now, and the feels like is three. And it's supposed to be, feels like is supposed to dip down in the negatives tonight here. We've got about four inches or five inches of snow on the ground. Uh, the southeastern part of the state got walloped. They've got like 10 inches of snow. It's going to be even colder Sunday going into Monday. Then it's supposed to warm up to 40 degrees on Monday. So, yeah, we're in kind of a deep freeze. Shut down. Weekend happens. Brick out. Is that like brick? Northern talk. Georgia, sweet Georgia. Yeah, well, right now it's, I, I lied. It's its warmed up. It's 15 degrees outside and the feels like is nine. But tonight, it's going to drop down to six and the real feel is negative three. Tomorrow, we have a high of 18 degrees. I was frozen today. So it's going to be fun tomorrow. Committed to the new you? You Get did. Our gym guarantee free. At Slim Pops, In our the conference, the top work. four seeds did indeed advance. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll one and four will take on each other. That's us, the Green River Sirens versus the New York Nemesis. It seems like that name is fitting because we always run into them. The Sirloins lost their first game, the two and three, with the Platypi. My buddy did. So they're already down a game. So seven in my character may be having a short. Well, you know, winning one in the playoffs is not bad. Is that is a good run? You cannot be upset. Like I was reading of all the professional sports teams since the Detroit Lions won last week. That leaves the Cincinnati Reds as the last team to make the playoffs and not advance. And it's been like since 1995 since they did that. Some of you probably weren't even born yet. Make baseball four stuff here, so we have it all down. There are no players on the Nemesis that we have to worry about, so that's nice. On the other side, though, there's been a big mix-up. Three of the top four seeds knocked out in the first round.
So we got a six and seven matchup, which is the lowest possible matchup that there could have been. Well, I guess an eight and five would have been. Five seed did advance, but the one seed, Cape Town, staying alive to put one high seed over there. So it it's Cape Town's to lose over there in the other thing. So Nick Muscanatis, his uh, character's still alive over there. There's also, uh, let's see. On our side, Chip Wafers is still alive on the Platypi as a two seed. Steven Thomas and Lola Von Stoop are still alive on the sirloins. Obviously, Lethal Feline is alive on our team. On the other side, you can see Reaver is going to start that first game for the Brisbane, uh, I always want to call them the Cockatoos, but they're not the Cockatoos. And now that I've said Cockatoos, I've... Flora Keats. There we go. Uh, uh, let's see. Anybody else? Uh, Cape Town, we said Nick. And then Captain Pete is there on the Night Warriors of Octa. So, still still players out there. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm happy that we made it through the first round. Uh, the way this game goes, and it gets harder the more you... Get to the chopper, D. Just the fob. Just a fob. 35 months. You're one away from three years. Let's go. Thank you so much. I do not deserve that at all. Makatoyuki is the bit machine tonight. Just a bit outside. Let's go indeed. All right. So, so, make it see. In the playoffs for the day. We have another game. Best of five series. The New York Nemesis are going to come take us on at home in the first two games. They have their ace, Slip Sodder. With a 318 ERA on the mound against our number two, our youngster, Rupert Guerra, who had a hell of a season. This is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, what are we saying? Oh, wait, they are. What are, what are we saying? Well, Nicholas was alive. That's good to know you're alive in that. Nail the ace and be done with the baseball. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Always get super. Where are we? Oh, we can't because they wear their stupid ones. Big dumb. Still wearing the nasty, like, their aways look like our homes on them. This is going to be kind of confusing. I hit a grand slam. Well, I, you know, that's one thing I've not done. I didn't get the joke. It happened. All right. So I think. Weiner, Rip Dinkers is here. Get Damian Rush. Figueroa struggling. Freshly away. harvested beauty components from Cadaver Labs. Duffy starts Trade this game. Welcome. Thanks to the magic and of Jesse social Dunn. media, you can now fax your long ball o chops competition pictures to. I've tried to adjust the sound Omega so that uh, on Steam, or not. Com yeah, no. I'm forward slash. Which when I download the VOD, that it doesn't overpower me, but I don't know what's causing that. We'll see. We're watching this it sounds bad. It worked. If it doesn't. Alright. Let's get to the playoffs. We are in the conference semifinals. The Green River Sirens going up against the New York Nemesis. Sauter versus Guerra tonight. This is gonna be a big one. I'll say there's something kind of about a kid that's never played baseball. Welcome. 
to the opening game of the conference. They are rotational aces, but it looks like they've got some speed and contact and power as well. All teams are pretty equal at this point of the year. Charlie Lopez, Stu Burko, and Buster Biggs will lead off. We'll see how the youngster Guerra can do. He's getting ready to turn 20 if he's not already. The nemesis pretty much are the Yankees. Now back to shortstop, number 22, Charlie Lopez. All right, Charlie Lopez up to bat. That's hard hit, and Duffy, who's starting today, in makes the catch on the line drive one away. That'll bring up Stu Burko. He's batting 500 in the playoffs, a couple of ribbies. Bad pitch, and he is going to take that one deep, and the Nemesis are going to take the lead early here. one nothing on the road, and I feel like we started the same way with the last round of the playoffs, Stu Burko. First home run, third RBI of the playoffs. Now to bring up Buster Biggs. Yeah, I thought that we started out similar. Got a piece of that one too. We're swinging to the fences. Two pitch, got him on the changeup. So Guerra tries to settle down after giving up the home run. That's two away. Here's Bodie Mathis. They're already anticipating pitches. Strike. Pitch. Fight. Two two got him on the slider. Guerra so, calms down, gets us through. We'll head to the bottom of the first. We trail by one. Grisha Chan, Lethal D, and Buck Swiner do up. They watch tape. They've learned. Chan batting 667 here in the playoffs. He's locked in. hit hard, but it's going to trail to the left and foul. Strike. Pitch there. Two. Broken bat on the first hit. Duffers is there, and Chip will get him out number one. That brings up Lethal. She's a little tense. I need her to get warm. We need her out there for defensive purposes. Fouled off, and that's probably going to be caught. Foul territory. Boomer Platoon is there for out two. Strike. miss on that. Strike. Wow, that pitch bent. Whoa! And Sauter coming out throwing some slippery pitches, hence the name. They've got Kimmy Smoke on their team. Hugo Tate, Boomer Platoon, and Kimmy Smoke coming up here. We go to the second inning. Now back, center fielder, number 60. You know, y'all are supposed to cheer for me, not the other way around. I think sometimes y'all forget that. Okay. You pitch, got him on the fastball. Batting, the third baseman. Boomer, Boomer he's batting 300. Boomer, Black Strike. That's inside. Mm, that call. That's a bad call. Dude, on ball, Stokes is out there. Perfect throw. Two away. Now batting. The catcher, number 12, Kimmy Smoke. Excellent. That would be, uh, low, low, nope. Okay, what, what, what are we doing? Good ones. I know it's Kimmy Smoke. Just trying to man the pitcher with that bat. 
Full count. Oh, and Frozer! Like Elza. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Rip Dingers, Damian Rush, and Aubrielle Duffy. Slowly panning the crowd. Flip Sauter. He's only pitched nine pitches. Let's see if Rip can do something here. That is hit. That's going to fly to the wall. Rip going to round first. He's going to head the second. Hugo Tate throws it in, and that is a leadoff double for Rip Dingers. Bring up Damian Rush. That ball took off really weird. It will move the runner over. Yankee gal coming in with a sub. 37 months. I can't believe it has been this long. Thank you for being There's some hype, hypes in the chat. We've got Aubrey Duffy, one out and a runner on third. Chance to tie this one up. That one's hit really hard. Aubrey Duffy's going to bring in a run. It's going to tie the game up at one apiece, and she's going to head in the second. A double hard hit by Duffy there ties the game up. Let's go. I do not have the six-year video. Annabella Stokes in here. hit. Burko's going to step on the bag. The runner advances the third. So with two outs, the catcher Jesse Donovan comes up. Got a runner on third. A base hit will put us in the lead. Slip. Slips that one in. Foul that one on. How's that one? Come on, Slip. He did not. Strikes her out, retires the runner. We'll head to the third. It is all tied up. One apiece. Chip Duffer, Slip Sauter, Charlie Lopez, the turn of the order coming up. Chip Duffer. Hard hit ball. Oh, Stokes couldn't come up with it. And that's going to be a leadoff runner for the Nemesis. How about it? The pitcher, Here's the pitcher, Slip Sauter. I'm going to guess that he's going to try to bunt here. Hi, hi. Strike. Strike. Oh, he fouled it off, and that's an out. Unfortunate for him. Charlie Lopez. One out. They got lots of speed on first base. That speed's gonna run second. Two on, one out. We gotta be careful here. Guerra has been known to let base runners on during the season, but then he holds it down. But here's Stu Burko. He hit one out of the park earlier. He hits one out here. We may not recover from. And that's right to Duffy. And that's going to be out number two. They hold the runners. Left fielder, number 39, Buster Biggs. It's a live one. Must make them unable to can. Strike. Two pitch. At all. Oh, uh. Got 
him on the slider, though. Let's go. We'll go to our turn of the order. The pitcher Guerra up and back to Chan Feline. We need the top of our order to get some hits. Round ball, but right for this shortstop. Lopez handles it with ease, one away. Now the right fielder, number seven. Yeah, yes, yes it is. Come in. Oh, that was there for the That's hard hit, but right at the center fielder. And Hugo Tate's got the speed to catch up to that. So lethal steps up with two outs. What a bad call. Strike. Get over. Get over. And Lopez. Back that, that is out number three. Come on up. Bodie Mathis, Hugo Tate, Boomer, Platoon coming up. Now back to right field. Number 47, Bodie Mathis. And Guerras waves him back to the dugout. That's Tony. I, I, I don't know. Never put that much thought into the lore of uh, baseball manager. Pitch. Oh, brown ball. Lethal is there. Tag two away. Now batting, the third baseman, number 28, oh, Boomer Flatchew. Hard hit. Get base hit up the middle. So two out single here. Now batting, the catcher. That brings up Kimmy 12, Smoke. Kimmy Smoke. That is a fair ball, unfortunate for her, and that's out number three. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth. Buck Swiner, Rip Dingers, a Damian Rush coming up. Hard hit, but I think the left fielder is going to track it down, and Buster Biggs does indeed one away. Had to bring Rip back up again. Crashed one, led to a run earlier in the game. Let's see if he can do anything here. That is up the middle, another base hit for Rip. Puts a little bit of speed on first, one out. Had to bring up Damian Rush. This would be a great time for him to come out. goes that is a double play that will bring it in to the fourth big goose eggs on the board for that one we head to the fifth chip dupper slip solder and charlie lopez the turn of the order again yeah the strike zone is all over the place second base number 14 chip duffers Pitch that's in there. He anticipated. Ground ball lethal. We'll take a whole bunch of those. One away. Now batting the pitcher number 71, Slip Sauter.
Uh -oh. ball, Stokes charges, flips to lethal, two away. Now batting the shortstop. Carly Lopez 22, locked in. Charlie with Lopez. Oh, and Duffy! Let's go! And she'll go pick up the bat and come right back out. She's responsible for the run earlier. Great defensive play there. Duffy, Stokes, and Donovan. Now batting the shortstop, number 34, Aubriel Duffy. Big ball one. That went off. It's going to be 10 2 on the count. She's going to hit that, and that's going to land for another base hit. Duffy having an all around good game. We've got Annabella Stokes. Goes up high for that one. We out able to advance. Now, Jesse Donovan. Number 24, Jessica Donovan. Es un strike. Es un strike. Jesse strikes out. Now, that brings up pitcher. That's it. Oh, and Boomer Platoon shows his own Aubriel Duffy defense. Catches that one. That could have maybe scored a run. We'll never know. We go to the sixth inning. Stu Burko, Buster Biggs, Bodie Mathis, both sides playing hot here in this first game. Number 52, Stu Burko. Very low. Strike. Hey. pitch. Come on! Oh my lord. Good pitch. Anything. Another full count. the catch oh my lord one away we had to earn that Odie Mathis steps up 0 for 2 today Him on the changeup. Two out. You go Tate steps up. 0 for 2 today as well. There's no way he anticipated a changeup on the first pitch. I have not thrown that the whole game. A changeup on the first pitch. Though. Two years as a sub. 
Dreaming isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this does put a smile on my face. Three dog coming in for two years. That definitely deserves some hypes in the chat. Three dog. Thank you so much. Let's hope you bring some good luck to Trisha Chan and some of the other hitters here. Chan goes up top swing, and that'll bring up Lethal, who's a little tense. Come on. Get down. Shoot, Lethal up the middle. Name a better combination. I bring up Buck Swiner, over two. My big dogs aren't hit. That's going to be a line drive to Platoon. We're going to head to the seventh. 1-1, one, one, four hits apiece. Platoon, Smoke, and Duffers do up. Whereas pitch count starting to get a little high. Now back, the third baseman, number 28. Boomer Platoon Boomer steps in. Got him on the slider. Great pitch. Now batting, the catcher, we'll bring up Kimmy Smoke. 12, Kimmy Smoke. Strike. Going for that one. Ground ball. That should be out number two. Stokes. Routine throw to first. Now batting, Sometimes two away. Baseman, number 14, Champ Duffers. Duffers. Cooper Guerra is four out. Very low. Strike. This probably be his last inning. And that's right at Stokes, and she'll make the catch. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Bullpen working. Dingers, Rush, and Duffy do up here for the Sirens. Ever important first game. Come on, Rip. Rip no, no. That ball's hit, but I don't think he got enough of it. Tate makes the catch at the warning track. That'll bring up Damian Rush. Rush is going to pop it up. Be out number two. Bring up Duffy. Locked in. Hard hit. Oh, and Boomer Platoon again. Sugar up. Are you crying? This is no crying. Powder mustache. This is no crying in baseball. The pitcher. Pitcher. Let's leave him in. We're going to take our pitcher out. But we're not going to give it the Munstar. Lola going to have it. Lola. Not farewell. Strike. Pitch. Ooh, that one. Ground ball, Stokes again. Way. Now batting the Charlie Lopez, number for three to two. Locked Charlie in. Charlie Lopez. Strike. Ground ball, Ethan's there. 
Due. Are you proud of me? He's in my relievers. I know. I'm. I'm nervous. You're Stu Burko. That ball's hit well. Chan is back. We make the catch. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Stokes, Donovan, and Lola up. Depending on what happens with Stokes and Donovan, I might have to make a decision on Fox. Now batting, the second baseman, number 29, Annabella Stokes. Es un strike. Green ball. Lopez is there. Hey. Yes, he did. Number 24, Jessica He's Donovan. Tense. This is, her homer. this is her Gibson ring. Oh, I thought it was going to be in it. That drops it. Oh, oh, look at this defense. Oh, my God. It's both teams playing. Oh, you can tell we're in the playoffs now. Nop's going to get a base hit. That will bring up Chan. He has been known to put one over the fence a time or two. He's 0 for 3 today, though. Number 17, Grishan Chan. Found out there. We go to the ninth. There are three, four, five hitters up against Knox. That's at the playoffs. Now batting. Fielder, number now batting. Like pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Nightbot getting a gifted sub. Yankee gal, thank you for that. Douglas Berg gonna come in. Round ball. Run away. Cody Mathis is pumped up for being 0 for 3. Oh, and that's just past Duffy. They're going to have a man on with one out. How about it? Hugo Center Tate. Fielder, number 60, Hugo Tate. Es un strike. Strike. Wow, he swung at that. Oh, that's going to let the runner advance. Isn't it? Yeah. That was not that far out. That's going to hold the runner at second. Two outs. Let's go. How about it? The third Boomer Platoon. He's had a hell of a defensive game. Emmy Smoke got two on. Kimmy Smoke. Adentro. Strike. No balls. No balls. Come on up. And that's going to get through. They're going to bring a run home. They're going to win on that right there. 2-1 in the top of the ninth. Are you kidding me right now? Champ Duffers. That is the dirtiest way to win a game unless we get something to happen. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth. Lethal, Buck, and Rip. If there's a set of people to get a hit, it's them. 
I don't know if that was playing well. I feel like a lot of these calls have led to the extra pitches. I'm just dirty. It's foul. Jess, foul. Ball inside. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, I just missed that. It should have been gone. Down. Bats. Comes down to Rip Dingers. He's got a single and a double today. And he tied the game up here. He's going to get on. Go ahead, run is on. Damian Rush. It's up the middle. We got two on. Oh, I don't need base hits. I need the home run. Aubrielle Duffy, a single and a double today. I'll let her hit. She's earned it. And it's right to the third baseman. And we are going to drop game one for the Nemesis. Fractions cost us that game. I'm pretty sure that's Knops' second loss of the play. Good close game the whole way through. I can't even be mad about it. Besides Rip and Duffy, our pitcher and then our pinch hitter, nobody on the starting lineup got a hit. Two starters got hits. Sauter goes a complete game, picks up the win. That's what aces do. Knops gives up two hits and an earned run. Second loss in the playoffs. Sauter, your player of the game. Guerra down there and then Burko. Disappointed! All right, let's see what happens on the other side of the bracket. See if the sirloins can bounce back. Dela Cruz and Reaver. Reaver's team comes out on top 7-6. They'll take game one. Let's see if Pete's Night Warriors. They go to extra innings. They lose in the 10th. Uh oh, Platypie up big. But here comes the sirloins rolling back. The sirloins hold on and win and tie the series up. So we're going to have their number two pitcher, Ellis, on the mound against Meow Bubkins. Ellis has an elite curveball. We've got elite screwballs. Volatile ball. Fell down the first game last one too. Playoffs are tough. That's just how it goes. You just uh you try your best and forget the rest and go on from the next.
What day is the 24th? The Wednesday and the Thursday, my internet provider will be having my internet. Great. I better go to bed early that night. Could have for, that could uh, mess with my work the next day, though. I'm glad they text and tell us, though, ahead of time. That was nice. And they're doing it during the middle of the night. That's even better. All right, bounce back game. The Al Bubkins going to lead us to the promised land. Here we go. We need to even it up here because we go on the road. We'll go to New York after this one. Definitely, definitely need to get going. Pinstripe versus Pinstripe. Chip Duffer, Stu Burko, Burma Platoon leading off. Meow Bupkins on the mound today for the Sirens. Place your bets. Place your bets. Step right up here to the counter. Place your bets. Predictions are open. Chip Duffer. Number 14, Chip Duffers. Down ball. We'll take a bunch of those. Figueroa. We're going to let that one go by. One way. The first baseman, number Stu Burko, burn us early last game. Let's not have that happen again. Listen, look like he's ironed his shirt there. That's a terrible, terrible pitch. That's terrible. That's popped straight up. That's out of play. Duffy? This Aubriel Duffy. She's vying for that starting shortstop spot. Good Lord. Gonna bring up Boomer Platoon. Got him on the slider. Meow Bupkins, a hell of a start for this game. Lethal D assuming her position as the leadoff hitter. Grisha Chan and Buck Swiner. Probably should have flipped Dingers and put him third, but it's okay. Nobody has faith, Seven. Lethal. I get lethal. Lethal pop up the left field. Oh, man. Question mark. Lethal 101 smug. Lethal, thank you so much for the sub. 37 months. Risha Chan stepping up here. Hard hit ball. It's going to go to the fence. Why couldn't we have had that last game? Risha's going to turn. Tate's going to throw. He's in there for a double. He's a Buck Swiner. Right, to Hard hit ball. <sighs> Rip Dingers. He's batting 360. Sir. Circle. circle the bases. That's going to bring in a run. We'll take that. Let's go. The siren strike early in this one. Ish Ballin steps up. He's there for Damian Rush. Oh my God, that would have been gone, but she was just too quick on it. One two, the count. And that's a little bouncer to Ellis. He'll handle that with ease. We get one though. Armando Galindo get the start today. He'll bat today. First in the inning, Charlie Lopez and Hugo Tate. Right fielder, number Wait, nineteen. Field. Armando Galindo. He's got a chin that does not stop. Hopkins will return to the. Field. 
to pitch. Ball, Figueroa's there. Routine out, run away. Now batting, the shortstop. Number Lopez, back to 312. Lopez. I didn't even move. Didn't even move. Popped up. Buck Swiner's out there. He's calling for it. Two away. Now batting. The oh, would have went into the stands. I'm so glad he's out. You go Tate. You go Tate. Give me something. And he did. Now yeah, Bupkin's doing well today. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Duffy, Figueroa, and Signoro do up. Bullpen looking very excited. Now batting, my shortstop, number 34, Aubriel Duffy. I don't have any ideas for jerseys for this season. Duffy going to hit that one opposite field. She thought about she's going to second. She gets a double. Did you all see that immaculate base running? The, the right fielder, that's that Galindo. He struggled with it, and she took off the second and got there. So a runner in scoring position here. Fun. It's foul. Yeah. Shoot. Gotta bring up Grizz. And the veteran who is rumored to retire after this season. Bring in a run here. Oh my god. Because they knocked it down. So it's up to Meow Bubkins. Two outs. A chance to help her own cause. Games make Ground balls are gonna get through. It doesn't look like it. And we're gonna strand one. We'll go to the third inning. Bottom of the order due up for them. Math is smoking Ellis due up. How about it? The left fielder, number 47, Odie Mathis. I think you would have got it. One pitch. I did Duffy, and she snags that one out of the air, too. Catcher number 12. Give me smoke. Duffy having fun here in the playoffs. Hope she's not trying out for another team. Mistakes. Smoke is on. Now batting the pitcher bring up number pitcher. 32, Easton Ellis. Oh, we're going to get. Oh! <laughs> he is. Oh, that was bad. Get her chance. Yes, what a double play! <laughs> we go to the top of the order here at the bottom of the third. Lethal, Chan, and Swiner. Plays like that. Come on.
Hard hit, but right at Chip Duffers. Lethal hits the ball all the time. It just goes right towards players. I don't know how to keep that from happening. Hit to the gap. I think the left fielder is going to run it, and he does. Bodie Mathis with the legs. Bring up Buck Swiner, two outs. Hard hit, but right at Lopez. One, two, three inning. We'll head to the fourth, top of the order, due up for the nemesis. It's one nothing sirens. Now batting the second baseman, number 14, Chip Duffers. Hit. Got a piece of a bucket. She's gonna have to throw this one hard. Gets him. One away. Now batting the first baseman, number 52, Stu Burko. Hard hit. He's hit. One on one out here in the top of the fourth. The nemesis. Gotta bring up third Boomer baseman, Platoon. Number 28, Boomer Platoon. Platoon. Him back. And that is gone. Are you kidding me? That was the softest hit home run I've ever seen. Get out of here. Armando Galindo. I have seen some ridiculousness in my days. That may take the cake. The two pitch. No retreats. Calls for it. Two. Now batting the shortstop, number 22, Charlie Lopez. Pops it up. Lethal calls for it. The three. For anyone taking Rip Dinger's coming up. Tish Ballin and Aubriel Duffy. Bento. It's like you can taste the tires. All of a sudden, we're down one. Just oh my God, he messed up and still made the play. We cannot get any luck. I know he's not, but he should have been better at that. Now I'm just perturbed. Larry Ball. Jesus dear. Kentucky. Drake. Go is kiss. By your five year subs combined. I am Captain SKS. Let's go, Drake. Let's go, I mean 60 months.
Uh, SKS is uh, my brother, you know, who uh, he, he manages the uh, Larry Ballers. <laughs> oh, for those of you who have not seen that before, Merry Christmas. Hard hit ball. Duffy gets a base hit with two outs. Bring up Figueroa. He struggled here in the playoffs. Whatever happened to that guy? I don't know. He went back to Cameroon. That is a line drive right at the That has just been our story. We have just not been able to get anything going. Eccentric, thank you so much. Let me throw some hypes in the chat. Give you some frozens and some bandit candy. Hugo T. The center fielder, number 60, Hugo Tate. Hugo Tate up the bat here. <laughs> I don't even know how to follow that one up. Two pitch. Two twos popped up. Chan runs after. Calls for it. How about it? The left field. Bodie Mathis. 47. Bodie Mathis. He will get that one. It doesn't matter. And it's a real close call when we need it. Oh, and Rip shows his glove skills. The catcher, number 12. There's Kimmy Smoke. Smoke. That's Kimmy Smoke once again just hits it right in front. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We got to get something going here. Turning the order due up, Senoro, Buckkins, and Lethal D. Come on, Grizz. Grizz, base hit up the middle. That's what we like to see. I still think catcher and center fielder are our two weakest spots. Let's see if Meow Bupkins can get something here. That is popped up. Gonna bring Lethal up with one on. Had to bring up Chan with a runner on second. Number 17, Grishan Chan. Chan Lopez. Holy defense. And we just cannot catch a break. Ellis Duffers and Burko do up. We're on the verge of going down two games to none in this playoff. And Charlie Lopez on their team has dislocated his shoulder on that. So that's, you don't want to see somebody get hurt, but that would be the first injury we've seen all year. Second baseman, number 14, Champ Duffers. Really? Honestly, I don't know. Too many. He's the one who just caught the out, yeah. Good job, man. How about it? The first baseman, number 52, Stu Burko. 
Thank you, That's going to make it 3 1. Oh, the nemesis, they haunt us. The third baseman, number 28, Boomer Flatu. Two home runs today. Buck Swiner chases that one down. The damage is done, though. Now it's a two run deficit. Buck Swiner, Rip Dingers, and Tish Ballin do up. Lopez is probably out for the rest of this series. Kind of with a dislocated wrist or a shoulder, and they'll bring in Linda Hand. She is playing out of position, and she will not be able to get to that. So maybe hits up the middle or what we need to go to now. One on, no outs. Here's Rip Ingers. Rip, now would be the time to do your name. Oh, it's going to be a double play. I wish that was true, Rob Power, but it's just not. In the last series, we actually had some stuff fall our way. It's just not happening. Like, nothing is going Strikeout sends Tish Ballin down. Like none of our power hitters are really producing. Parts of our lineup are just set into stagnant. Like even contact hitting. The right fielder, number 19, Armando Galindo. Shortstop number 63. Here's Linda, Linda Hand. She's Hand. playing out of position. Good Good pick, yeah. How about it? Hugo Tate. Fielder, number 60, Hugo Tate. here gets the call we'll head to the bottom of the seventh we'll have to see what happens here it's toward the bottom of the lineup for us but we need some production the gap Duffy two for two today Strikes out, that pitch just dropped. Posture check. I'm setting about it as straight up as I can. I even got a posture pillow. Figueroa. It's up the middle. Base hit. Figueroa on. We have Briz. I may take Meow out if Briz gets out. Yes, two on, one out. Grizz, the veteran. All right. What's their pitcher? He throws right. If we had a lefty, that would be good. Norbert bats. It's base. Norbert Owens. Mm. Uh 
Third, okay. Runners on the corners. Lethal up. Come on, Lethal. This is your time. Hits to the gaps. This is where you excel. And it was just not enough power on it. Go to the eighth, three one still. Now batting the left fielder, number forty seven, Bodie Mathis. Stephenson comes in. Knew we had big glaring holes in the team. I just didn't think. Good pitch, Stephenson. Now batting the catcher, number twelve. I mean, we got to be honest. Rip Dingers has carried us a lot this season. He needs a counterpart. Duffy will have that one two away. Now batting the pitcher, number 32, Easton Ellis. Give Easton in. Rips there. Bottom of the eighth. We're down to six outs. Chan, Swiner, and Dingers do up. Team, I mean, we only got one weak pitcher. That is a hit up the middle. Chan's on. No outs. Buck Swiner steps up. Rip, this is your moment. Take it. Tish Ballin steps up. 0 for 3 today. Hard hit. That's going to be a double play. It's just not in the cards. We go to the ninth. Still down two. Now batter, the second baseman, number 14, Champ Duffers. Good eye gets it. Good pitch. That was so far outside there. No. Billy Bean. The first baseman, number 52. We got a 33rd and third chance. Trying to get on base. Man, I, I don't know where that one's going. Yeah, Tish Ballin. Not calling for it. This scares me. Tish. Now batting. The third baseman. Number so Boomer Platoon, he's hurt us today. I'm pretty sure he hit that one pitch. No way it would have been physical. 
God. Did you see the bounce that got coming out of the infield? That's a stand-up double with two outs. Chance for the nemesis to add one more on here. Armando Galindo. Armando Galindo. Duffy is not going to let that happen. Last chance for the Sirens. Duffy, Figueroa, and Grizz. Devour the all batting. The shortstop, number 34, Aubriel Duffy. Base hit. Duffy's the only one carrying us in the playoffs. Figueroa. Hard hit, I think. You know, if I'd have swung for power, that'd probably been gone. Come on, Grizz. I'm going to let you bat. You're two for three today. I'm gonna let Stephenson bat. Just foul. It comes down to you. Foul batting. Just foul. Just foul is gonna get a base hit. Two on. No, it's lethal, isn't it? I hate to say that. I got a pinch hit. <laughs> Don't know what we got. Pitcher is throwing right. We don't have another lefty. Lethal bats left. Do I let lethal bat? We'll bring in Stokes. Stokes has a little bit more contact right now. She's not tense. I don't know if lethal's got the power to get it out of the infield, though. All right, you all want Lethal to try. Has a debilitating fear of oh, it's going to load the bases. Grecian Chan comes up locked in. No! Oh, my God. God, it doesn't, it, it's like it's scripted every time. It lets you load the bases and then you hit to the shortstop. I was even gonna say that before he even swung. Dude, his contact was so big. 12 hits, one run. That has been our story all season. If we don't hit home runs, we don't score. Kish Ballin did absolutely nothing. Ellis, 12 hits, one earned run. We tried to do that in the first place, and there wasn't an ability to do it. They, they, they just swept us at home. See if the Laura Keats can go up too. No, Kyoto comes back and hammers them to even the series up. Cape Town trying to go up too. Uh oh, Captain Pete team. Oh, and they are. Cape Town goes up 2 0. And the sirloins fall. They're going to be down in an elimination game. And Texarkana. So we have Air Lovestone on the mound. They're number three, Reese Cruz.
All right, we are on the road. So they wear the same uniforms wherever they go. It's kind of cocky. They're going to play Charlie Lopez. Bold strategy. All right, I'm going to go stretch my legs, walk around for a minute. Try to clear my head. We are down two games to none. If we lose, I guess we'll be doing the off season. That could be interesting. Or it could be terrifying. I will. All right, let's bring it back and see if we could do the comeback of the season or if our shortcomings in our catcher and our center fielder position are going to come up and haunt us. Because anything at this ego and higher... Things will haunt you. You're being haunted. Uh, raw power, I would send me a message either on Discord or here on Twitch to remind me, and I'll try to look that up after that. Because right now, where I'm in the middle of the stream, I'll. So. All right. Try to get my game face. Show me your game face. Ah. Ah. All right. I think since it's so cold, I may wear a beanie again. There we go. Yellow and red. I look like I'm a Hulkamaniac. We can do as good in this game as Louisville's done in the football transfer porter portal. We'll be in good shape. All right, let's get started. Game three. Let's try not to get swept out of this series. Though it's happened before, and the nemesis, I'm pretty sure, have knocked us out of the playoffs before. So it would be fitting. I would not like to start my Super Mega Baseball 4 career that way, but sometimes the fates happens all right let's go new york nemesis lead two nothing green river sirens risk elimination you know what no lethal leading off chan ripdinger's third yes They've got Reese Cruz on the mound. I feel like we've faced him before this season. We are in the Big Apple here in New York, trying to stave off elimination. Lethal D gonna lead us off here. Ball, that's outside. Somehow the pitch that's even farther out was a strike. Broken bat. The right fielder, number 17, Grecian Chan. Chan steps up, 5.33 here in the playoffs. Hard hit, but right at Chip Duffy. Now batter, the third baseman. And bring up Rip. Rip Dinger. Batting 357 in the playoffs. It's only one home run, though, and that was in the first series. Nothing here. Ball, that's yeah. inside. Hard hit toward the gap. He didn't have enough height on it. Rip rounds first. Let me get the second. Flat in there. That's a two out double. Now batting. Bring up Buck field. Swiner. Number 58, Buck Swiner. That's a strike. Off the. Three players coming for it. 
And Biggs makes the catch for out three. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Kimmy Smoke leading off. Stu Burko and Buster Biggs. We'll have air on the mound. He's got a 5-4-0 ERA. Interesting, they put Kimmy Smoke up to lead off. Can air keep the series going? Pitches like that, she sure can. Strikes out Kimmy Smoke. Two Burke, almost 500. Two home runs, four RBIs. He's hurt us this year. Pretty sure he's responsible. Putting them up in a number of the games. He'll sit down on strikes. Mr. Biggs. Biggs back out there playing center field. Now batting the number 28, Boomer Lechu. Hit big balls there. Then. All right, we'll get out of the first inning with a bunch of goose eggs on the board. Duffy, Figueroa, and Damian Rush coming up here. One hit apiece thus far through one. The shortstop, number 34, he is Aubrey Duffy. Eyeball. After that one, we're going to get a pop out of the center. Hugo Tate. How about it? The second base, Figueroa. number 10, Eduardo Figueroa. Figueroa, another Figueroa. player who's kind of faded away here in the playoffs. little quiet on the mic. I shouldn't be quiet. It's it should be the same that it always is. Uh then it doesn't show anything different. It's kind of going to it's going to it's going to the same levels. I've not changed anything from the last time I uh, streamed. And why are we waiting an hour and 45 minutes into the stream to say anything? I mean, I'll turn me up a little bit. I don't. I mean, honestly, I turned the game sound down on the game before I started streaming. So it's weird that you all are saying that now I, I sound quieter. I don't, I don't understand. Kind of good before break, but then you came back and started up and you sent it to trail out. My release. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Y'all you'll just have to let me know. Let me talk for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm just I I don't know. You all've got me thinking crazy now. Hey, we know this is a really super important game you're playing right now, but uh we want you to worry about something else. Full count here. Figaro is going to pop out. I feel like you all have been hired by the Nemesis to screw me over. Number 65, Damian. Don't even know what to say at this point. 
Now I'm like going into the red, but you all say that I'm lower than I was. I don't understand it. Come on, dude. No inside ball. Ace it. A secret cap. Well, me and sound, as you know, whether it's Windows or Scream or anything, we have a we have a we have a history. I just wish I knew what it was. No, outside. Come on, Jesse. Strikey, strike, strike. There it goes. Right. Right, Jesse, get it. Or strike out. We go to the bottom of the second. Galindo, Duffers, and Tate. I'm going to sit here and stare at these numbers and see what happens. Wow, Molo. I love hate relationship, so to speak. Los Idiotas is live on AM really wondering. And boy, they are really living up to their name. I'm not doing anything different than I would before, though. That's the weird thing. Uh, the camera's on you. Looks busy. Like, literally nothing has changed on any of the settings. I mean, I'll, I'll increase the release time and maybe. Hope I've not knocked anything loose, though. Let me turn this up a little bit. Maybe this will help. I don't know. Sometimes I got to turn this up a little bit, but it's like really sending me into the red. So you all have to just let me know. We'll try it like this for a minute and see if that's changed anything. If not, I have to turn another knob. Two pitch. Ball, that's outside. Ball, ball. Ball. Oh. He's going to get a hit here. Now, listen here. There we go. Hi. Well, I can't change any of the yeah I have no idea what's changed and I'm literally you could see the mic and where I'm speaking into it I did turn the uh, release up a little bit, so maybe that's it, but that has not changed forever, so who knows? Maybe I'm back to speaking out of my mouth. Thank you, Lethal. Oh, Duffy couldn't get a hold of that one. Still think y'all been paid by the nemesis to throw me off. Bad throw, but got him. Good arm by Jesse Donovan. That's popped up. Lethal chasing back. Lethal makes the catch. 
Uh, okay, well, let me turn this down just a little bit. Because there's an arrow I usually keep this on. We'll see if... Now I've got it on the arrow that's normal. And we'll see if that release time and being on normal helps. We go to the bottom of the order. Air Love Stone the bat here. Then we'll go to lethal. Go and Air Love Stone as the screen tried to give me a headache with that flicker. So the pitcher gets on base. Gotta bring up Lethal. Come on, Lethal. Get through oh, every time. Lethal outran that one. Good. On on the fielder's choice. We'll take it. Number 17. No, that that was on the game. Grisha Chan steps up. Lethal on first. They're going to be worried about Lethal. This is why Lethal gets on base. Lethal's gone. That's a steal. Lethal, go lethal, go lethal. We'll have lethal on third, even with two outs. A base hit here can help. That brings up Rip Dingers. Come on, Rip. Just a base hit, my friend. Not going to do it. Charlie Lopez, even with his broken shoulder, he's playing with a separated shoulder, makes the throw. Such bull crap. Only the computer can get away with that. Only, look at this, look at his stats! Come on, Buck, good catch. <laughs> Just a kid is catching shoulder, oh yeah. If you've ever separated your shoulder, Oh, look. Oh, y'all are openly cheering for the nemesis now. Ball ball. I actually was too, uh, Mad Martin. I was... I, it's just like when a rat rattled player hits a home run. I was really waiting for that. Here's Kimmy Smoke again. To pitch and bite. Got her. Good, good pitch. Come on, air. I deserve the crap. I've abandoned you all for a while, so. Base hit. I don't know why Lethal was on the base that much. But Buster Big steps up. He's one for one today. Two outs. Anticipated that. Round ball. Lethal gets that one. She'll take care of it herself. We go to the fourth inning. 0-0. Zero, zero. Swiner, Duffy, Figueroa do up. This has been a close, quiet game. First pitch from Cruz is a ball. It's fouled off to the left. One and one. That's up the gut. That's a base hit for Swiner. Aubrey L. Duffy locked in. 0 for 1 today, though. Early on both of those. 0 and 2. 
shit! Oh my god. I swear. If your timing is too quick, there's Lopez, broken arm and all, throwing another one out. They just, the computer can immediately just throw them out. Hmm. So two outs, no on now. A separated shoulder, dives on it, makes the play. What do injuries even matter on this game? What do stats even matter? Platoon Galindo Duffers. That is something you couldn't do on three. This is EA things right now. Everybody poops lethal. It's allowed. Armando Galindo steps up. Armando Galindo. I don't know if I like him. Just based on his name. Two away. Figueroa takes care of that one. That'll bring up Chip Duffers. His power is zero, but you know, he can still hit a 500 yard bomb. I really thought he was going to now. Chan couldn't get to that one, but he does stop it from being extra bases. Hugo Tate up. 0 for 1. Really wanted that call. Same exact place. This one may actually score. Oh, are you kidding me up? Here's Charlie Lopez, fully expecting a home run here. Ground ball. He almost got a bounce. So they get one in the fourth. So as it stands right now, we are eliminated from the playoffs. Rush, Donovan, and Lovestone do up. I'm, I'm so over it in some cases. That was clearly in time. I did not even mean to swing with that. Hard hit, but platoon. Man, the defense is just... Oh, it's unshakable in the playoffs. Jesse Donovan comes up. How's that off? One and one. Hard hit. Duffers was there. And had to bring up the pitcher. I'm not expecting much from her. 96 power. She fouled it back. Hard hit. But Charlie Lopez. <laughs> oh my god laughable at this point who to pitch thought about it frozen like Elza that's rarity that ball was so far out of the strike zone we get that call but we don't get the close ones
Dude, he went to the varsity blues school of like numbing himself up. And take that shot. Froze her again. I think that was such a bad pitch the computer couldn't even calculate it. Put that needle on his knee and I'm out. Shut the door. Shut the door. That ball is probably gone. Are you kidding me? Two strikeouts and then they turn around and take one over the park. Was that Stu again? Stu Burko has eliminated us from this playoff. And it's on the worst pitches. It's like they just, they reach outside and just send them. That's the only thing that upsets me. It's like, there's, I don't care to lose, but it's like when it's a cheesy way, that's that's the bad part. So we're down two now, going into the sixth. It's the top of the order. We really, 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 really need to get some runs. Now back, the first baseman, number 86. All right, number 86, let's go. Number 17, I feel like I'm using a wiffle bat. Dude, this is like their third or fourth string pitcher. I thought Charlie Lopez was going to get that one. I'm shocked that it got through. Rip Dingers, one for two today. Get out. Please get out. Please get out. Please go. Please ball. Rip Dingers has tied the game up. My sound effects are not even kicking in. It's been so long since we hit a home run. Rip Dingers, second home run. Oh my God. Two, two game. Finally, Rip Dingers puts it on the board. <laughs> Lord. And then we hit it straight at Lopez. How batting the shortstop, number 34. I know, Lethal. We've got to really buff up the team. That's what I was sitting there thinking. It's like, we don't deserve to win at all. Because if it's not for Rip... We lose three fourths of our games. Laudanum Lopez strikes again. He is all the painkillers on the Oregon Trail wrapped in the one man. Bottom of the sixth, it's 2 2 now. Let's see if we can hold it. Platoon Galindo and Duffers. Bullpen starting to show some action. Anticipate that. They're going to get it right back, aren't they? The nemesis seemed willed to win this game. We're going to bring Elaine Munstar in. Oh, bald baseball, Dad. If only you knew. Froze him like Elza. Oh, it's it's not good in this series right now. Here's Chip Duffers. Hope you're having a great evening, Paul Baseball Dad. Oh, 
Okay, Munstars kind of battling back. You go, Tate. I was having a good game until this series. I hate the Nemesis. They have always been what their name says in every iteration of this game I played, and they are sticking it to us this series. Oh, look, everybody. It's Mr. Who separated his shoulder but continues to play like nothing happened. I really thought about that. Good catch by Duffy. All right, we go to the seventh. Down one. Figueroa, Rush, and Donovan. Cruz just having an amazing game for their pitcher, who shouldn't be. That's right back to him. Damian Rush, one for two today. Sirens on the brink of elimination. Hard hit, but right to Boomer Platoon. He threw that like a cannon arm. Does he have cannon arm? Jesse Donovan has that. Hard hit, Charlie Lopez. The dude dives. He's got a separated shoulder. You. The pain. Number three, Elaine Munstar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold him. Don't think about it. Yeah, an EA game making sense. Wouldn't make sense. Hope Metalhead's happy. That's all I gotta say. Bottom of the seventh. Cruise Smoke Burko. They did indeed get their paychecks. Hmm. Go to pitch. Gimme smoke comes up. Pitcher gets on base. That should be a double play ball. Finally a four six three. That's our first double play of the series. Here's Stu Burko. This true has eliminated us. I'll get another base hit. That's that could be an inside the park home run. He stopped. Now batting the third baseman, number twenty-eight, Boomer Lachu. Oh, Rush. What is going on? 5 2. Now batting. A right fielder. Number 19. Armando Calendo. That time. Now pitching Huck and Duck. Might as well put Huck and Duck in there. What do we got to lose? 
Come on, Huck, strike this guy out. Two out, and they've scored, what, two runs with it? Here's Chip Duffers. Come on, Duffy, you gotta make that play. We go to the eighth, we got six outs to get three runs. It's not looking good for our season so far. Now batting, the first baseman, number 86. <laughs> Lethal D stepping up. Over, and there's a base hit. All right. Now batting, the right field. Grecian Chan steps in. Grecian Chan. I know, right, Lethal? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm all Two on, no out. Rip Dingers, he's two for three today. He's got a home run already. Pressure mounting. Reese Cruz's day is done. They are bringing in Layla Palmer. It would be great. I don't know if she's even pitched in the playoffs, but it doesn't show their innings pitched here, so we don't know. The winning ticket for Heckin Trucks giveaway. We're doing a double switch. Linda Hand coming in for Galindo. That was not a strike. Hard hit. That's probably a double play. Buck Swiner is tense all of a sudden for some reason. Strike adjacent, my ass. And we're going to come out of this with nothing. Remember to pick up your tickets for the 50 50 draw at the kiosk by the like all the bad habits have come back and got us here. Ground ball. Lethal. Huck and duck. One away. I have not Mac to Yuki. I've done the antithesis of that. Because of this man right here, Charlie Lopez. This makes me despise the game because of him. For one, it makes me mad because the computer's too stupid to sub him. For another reason, it's because he shouldn't be doing what half of what he's doing out there. Duck catches that one. That's going to take us to the ninth. Here's our last chance. I'm not furious. I've just kind of given up. It's just, it, it's, it's just not meant to be. One on, no outs. Figueroa, he's a little tense. Right at him. That's a double play. How about the center field? Number 65, Damian. That one, that strike they get called every time just is sickening. Hard hit, but down the line foul. 
Our season rest on Damien Rush. Who hits it into the gap? It's a base hit. Now batting, the catcher, Jesse Donovan. Jessica Donovan. She's going to get a base hit. So two on, two out, top of the ninth, our last chance. We need three to tie it. Huck and Duck. We're going to take him out, bring in Jess Fowl. She's a pitch hit specialist. That's probably the pitch right there. One and one. That is a ground out, and that will be our season. The Nemesis sweep. Just so many hits and we just cannot score runs. And we had an error. When did we get an error? Oh, that's probably when she threw over to first and it... <sighs> the baseball is over. There's crying now. The Nemesis did do their thing. Everybody but Figueroa got hits in the starting lineup. I mean, we just cannot string hits together. That was an issue all season. Unless it was Rip Dingers coming out there and doing his thing, we struggled. Lovestone takes the loss. Three earned runs and five innings. Six strikeouts. Munstar, four hits, no earned runs. Huck and Duck. One of our weakest pitchers, he comes out there and he does solid. Rip Dingers is your player of the game somehow. What a slap in the face. Watch Rip not want to set sign with us next year now. Seven, I want to smack you for your Discord message. <laughs> I didn't think we would go out this round. I really didn't. I mean, so here's my question on my team. Who has the lowest loyalty? Jesse Donovan is probably gone. Air Lovestone could be gone. Damian Rush, I really don't care if he's gone or not. He is really a pinch hitter, not a starting center fielder. Grizz is probably retiring because he's 39. And I would really hate to lose Elaine Munstar. Everybody else I think we could sign and stay. Well, you bring in power, you know, and get him up against the left-handed pitcher, yeah. But when you compare him and say Tish Ballin, He's got power and speed on her, but we are just very weak in center field and we were weak in catcher. Jesse Donovan had a great arm, but she really sucked it up on hitting.
mean, looking at the season, I mean, she almost batted. It says 298, but I just don't feel like she did. But I feel like our batting averages were really inflated. We also didn't get to play, unless it was a team in our division, we didn't. We only got to play them once. So we really didn't, I don't know. Maybe just the, the 80. Yeah, rip 23 home runs, 43 RBIs. Everybody else was lukewarm. That's what I'm saying. He ca he carried the team. And then you look in the playoffs. We had four home runs. Buck and him are the only ones. Lola Knopf, she got destroyed during the playoffs. So did Air. Elaine Munstar. I mean, our two best relievers in Knopf's and Munstar got demolished in the playoffs. All right, so let's... Let's go one game at a time here and simulate these playoffs. The Laura Keats and the Blowfish. Reavers team trying to stay alive here. Carson and Cracker Barrel. Mercury was in the Gatorade or whatever. The star said nah. Yeah, Pete, we, we sucked it up in the playoffs. I swear though, I swear that like the timing for hitting was so different in the playoffs than it was during the season. It just, ugh. All right, so let's see what happens here. Well, it goes back. Brisbane takes a 2-1 lead. All right, chance for Cape Town. They've got Tandy Doyle on the mound, who has a 6.75 ERA versus Bay Paul. There's Captain Pete down there. He's batting 281 home run, trying to lead those Osaka Night Warriors away from elimination. American Motor. And they will. They'll stay alive one more game at least. They win in Osaka. It's time again for a weather update. But since the meteorologists aren't answering my Texarkana. Well, Lola Von Stoop down there, 458, two home runs. Texarkana needs a win here, or it will be the Platypi and the Nemesis. Two OG teams going for this, our side. Let's see if it happens. Sirloins go up big at the start, and they'll win 4-2 to even the series. Laura Keats, Haven Gare versus Nubs Barnes. Power hitters versus context. The Laura Keats could seal it, but they're down big. Laura Keats getting demolished. They're trying to come back. 13. Oh my God. Blowfish. Blow them out of the water. Even the series up. Yeah, I need more practice against higher ego. All right, let's see if Captain Pete can do it again. Or will Cape Town and Nick Miscunatis down there move on? It's close. Uh-oh. Cape Town eliminates Pete and the Night Warriors. Cape Town got a chance to play for the World Series. Deciding game here. Tip Wafers and Tampico versus Steven Thomas and Lola Von Stoop. Let's see if they can keep it alive. 
Oh, Platypie jump out big. Oh, and they hold on. Tampico is moving on to take on the New York Nemesis. So the two seed and the one seed. Oh, man. So we have three of the four teams for the final four. Who will join Cape Town? Will it be the Brisbane Lorikeets or the Kyoto Blowfish? Reaver is pitching in the deciding game. He's 1-0 with a 5-4-0 ERA. I do want to look. I know 7 will want to know too. I batted 433 in the playoffs, one home run, two RBIs. Low led two home runs, six RBIs, 419. It looks like we tried with Caden Field to carry the team, but it just wasn't enough. I wonder now, we can't go look at the uh, sign and release, but I wonder if like we could see their record or their stats from this past season. Let me out, let me out. All right, can Reaver hold down Damian De La Cruz in the extreme power hitting Kyoto Blowfish? Oh, 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 the Blowfish come back and win it. <gasps> Oh, my lord. Roar Sports Network is the best place to catch up with the latest... So the only players left now is Chip Wafers on the Tampico Platypie and Nick Miscianatis on that. We've got a two, a four, and a one, and a six. Call in and get to gargling that gulp. Hold out for longer than the slip solder back on the mound here. I mean, look who the platypie are putting up there. Somebody who is like freaked out and rattled with an 18 ERA. Man, I wonder who's going to win this first game. Watch Tampico win now that I've said that because nothing makes sense. Nope, it's going the way I thought it would unless they come back. Nope, 4 3 win for the Nemesis. It was closer than I thought. Miranda Walter and Jane O'Donnell. Battle of the reporters. Cape Town goes up big and they'll hold on. So the one and four seed. Here's Easton Ellis. He's the one that sealed the deal against us. No, it wasn't. It was Cruz. Ellis is the one who beat us in the second game. Parker Harrington. Can she come back? Can Chip Wafers help the platypi? Nemesis go up early. Platypi, no, in extra innings, the Nemesis go up 2-0. The Nemesis, yeah, they won their first series 3-0, beat us 3-0, and now they're up 2-0 against the Platypi. Cape Town, Tandy Doyle and Chico Rago. Blowfish, blow Cape Town out of the water. 11 to 3 to even the series up. Gary Rahner versus Reese Cruz. Reese Cruz sealed the deal against us. Nemesis out early and they win 1 0 in advance to the World Series. They've won every series 3 0. I'm not even mad now. This is predestination stuff. It's like the game knew mentally that I hated the nemesis and it's made them good like this on purpose. Coganium. All right, so who's going to face the Nemesis in the World Series? 
Kyoto, Cape Town. We're at Kyoto now for the games. Oh, it's close. Two, three, four. Oh, and Cape Town squeezes that one out. It's been some close games. There's been no um, sweeps on the global side. Obviously, those teams must be more balanced than ours. So Cape Town trying to win here on the road. They got Tucker Fuss. Damian De La Cruz back on the mound again. Can he hold on? Blowfish out early. If they hold on, it's going to go to a fifth game. And they will. Oh, my God. Can we have a four seed and a six seed in the World Series? Jane O'Donnell and Miranda Walter. The battle of the reporters again. Um, if the Blowfish win, all viewers have been eliminated. Nick down there, Miss Cunatis, is the last viewer still in the playoffs. Oh, and Blowfish win? Oh my God! And the they are indeed rested. Slip Slaughter, their ace, will be starting game one. Oh my heavens. Okay, we're going to do a uh, prediction on this. The AI have taken over. All right, I'm going to give you a minute on this. You got the number four New York Nemesis and the Kyoto Blowfish. I may have left this one on the grill a little too long. Gamble on this one. Maybe it's just right. Oh, oh. Bunt hot dogs. There's no R in Bunt. There's a loose pinata car. Oh wow, y'all are really throwing all in on this one. A few heavy hits, but so far it's actually holding together, despite all those baseball bats kicking around. As word spreads, though, more and more people are steering toward it. I cannot wait for the slow mo replay tonight. New York is that team of destiny. Voted out of spite. Lots of money on the Nimbus. I mean, if you go with the Blowfish and they pull off the Miracle. Six seconds left. All right. It's sealed in. Let's start her up and see what happens. Game one, Chico Rago, Kyoto. They're lefty, who's 1 0 with a 1 6 9 ERA going against Slip Slaughter. Slip Slaughter, not Slaughter. 2 0, 1 7 1. So even though Chico's not their ace, he's pretty decent. Power hitters versus rotational aces. Oh, 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 and New York wins it at the end. They go up. One game, 3-2, the final score. This is the number four pitcher for Kyoto, I think. Nubs Barnes versus Easton Ellis, which is the number two. The pitching is definitely in favor of the Nemesis. We're playing in New York. They're the home team in this. If they go up 2-0, I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, Kyoto up early. Kyoto finally beats New York. New York has a loss in the playoffs. It's like the Undertaker losing, but it's the nemesis. Oh, man. Now it evens up. The ace, Damian De La Cruz, taking over for Kyoto. He'll go against the third string pitcher, Reese Cruz. But Reese has been hot in the playoffs. This is all important game. We're shifting over to Kyoto. Oh, Nemesis go up big and they hold on. 
run and get all oh, their one win away from winning the World Series. What in the world? So they've not even used Bugsy Snugs. Slip Slaughter has a 1-4 ERA in the playoffs. Easton Ellis a 1-2-4. Reese Cruz, 1-3-7. They have been hot. Look at these innings pitched, too. And then batting, Curly Lopez. Makes me sick. Oh yeah, 0 0.97, 0 0.97, 0 0.84. I may have left and then I think Lay is Layla or Bugsy on the mound for this game? <clears throat> oh, Bugsy. So he's not even pitched in the playoffs yet. They're starting him. Well, if anybody knows how to reset the time zone. Does New York. Please, give me a call. I do not know what time it is. I mean, Stu Burko eliminated us. Until they drag me out of here. Uh, let's go. All right. Oh, and the Nemesis win it all. Oh, my Lord. was foretold in the scrolls I I mean look at the run they went on that last game against the overdogs they scored 15 runs so they scored 18 runs against the overdogs to three they only allowed three four runs against us the platypi got five on them and then they give up 11 in four games on the Blowfish. I know. Wow. That is just crazy. New York Nemesis are your champions. Take my screenshot so I have them so I can update these stats. I don't know if I'll put all the playoff stats in. I, I kind of just like keeping the regular season stats. I'm I'm just see which players are dominating. So Easton Ellis was the play MVP of the playoffs, followed by Reese Cruz and Slip Sodder. So three pitchers of the nemesis. You'll have to save them for another day, Makatayuki. I did not do anything. Stu Burko with the best batting average. He only had three home runs. They were all against us. That just blows my mind. Your home, I mean. Breaks. 
Oh, we not put the prediction in? Who's outcome? New York Nemesis. There you go. Some people took the safe bet. Just like DraftKings. Stu Burko, on base and slugging champ. Grecian Chan was up there with hits in the playoffs, but it didn't matter. Rip Dingers with extra base hits, one of the slowest guys on the team. Hey, Lola Von Stupa, the most stolen bases during the playoffs. Lethal, too, during the playoffs. Pitching. Dave Richards, Reed Screw. I mean, look, they got four pitchers. Five pitchers. Rupert Guerra, a great thing, but he had a terrible record. Meow Bubkins is up there, but again, three other pitchers. Go back to caught stealing. Well, we were trying to create something, so that kind of happens. That Easton Ellis had 30 strikeouts in the playoffs. Reese Cruz, who was hot, had 24, and Slip Sodder had 21. That's 75 strikeouts between their three starters. Three of their four starters. I'll save the top 10 for uh, playoffs, but I won't do all the uh, other stuff. Yeah, Reese Cruz. The New York Nemesis have won the championship. All right, I'm going to take a quick bio break. When we come back, we're going to do the off season, at least part of it, to see how it starts going. We already know that... Where's my ink pen? We already know that we need to find a center fielder. We need some prospects on that. We also need to look for a catcher. Then we're going to have to see who's leaving. So let me take this break. And I'll come back and we'll knock that out. I shall return. <laughs> 